that is so my reality. You guys know on a more serious note, April is National Parkinson's Disease Awareness yes, Month. In honor yes, yes. of the disease that affects more than 10 million people around the world. It's a progressive disorder of the central nervous system that impacts people's movements. Mika and I both have yes. family members. We know something about this. On World Parkinson's Day, Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton of Virginia revealed she has been diagnosed with the disease in hopes of using her platform to be a voice for those struggling and to fight to help bring greater resources to the search for a cure. And the Democratic Congresswoman joins us now. Congresswoman, it's so great to have you on the show. Uh, I'm sorry under the circumstances. As I said, uh, we've been in touch a little bit. And my father has Parkinson's, has had it for 30 years. Mika's had it in her family as well. So I understand what you're embarking on. The good news to share with you is that the treatments, mm -hmm. the community are so strong these days, particularly with the Michael J. Fox Foundation that I know you're engaged with already. So why was it important to you to step forward and make this announcement? Well, it was important to me because I want to be a voice for people who are struggling with Parkinson's. And also I have a platform with which to, to actually do something about it. So I figure of the about, you know 90,000 of us who are diagnosed every year, I actually can do something about it. So I'm going to use my platform and my ability on the appropriations committee and as a member of Congress to hopefully bring some more resources to, to combating this disease and finally finding a cure. There was, there was some great news from the Fox Foundation last week, a huge development about a bio, biomarker that they found. There's progress mm -hmm. being made every day in the pursuit of a cure. From your position in the United States Congress, what more do you think can be done on the legislative side of things? Well, a lot more can be done. We have the national plan to to end Parkinson's, which is a piece of legislation that I hope will get passed this year. It would create a national plan. It would get all the federal agencies together and come up with ways that we can work together to hopefully you know, treat, treat, prevent, and cure, cure Parkinson's, um, which is something which is not that far off, I hope. You know, we've got a wonderful, wonderful development so far. That's one thing we can do. We can also we can also ensure that we get more resources to fighting Parkinson's and getting more awareness out there as well. You know, Congresswoman, um, I want to jump on something you said because uh, the resources are working. There is hope, and the treatments out there work mm -hmm. and can get better. I know even my mother had a diagnosis, Willie, years after your father, and was able to really uh, kind of push it back, mm. um, right. in, you know, in the final years of her life. And it was heroic on her part, but the treatments were very helpful. Absolutely, and they're only getting better, as you said. So, right. you know, something that we need to just get more resources, resources and get them the ability to move forward and be able to come up with a cure eventually. Yeah. And, and Congresswoman, when did you first start noticing the signs? You are a young woman. Um, what did you uh, first feel, and then when did you know and get the diagnosis that you have Parkinson's? First of all, thank you for that, Willie, for saying I'm a young woman. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, you it. are. But yeah, well, I guess in this relative scheme of things, I guess I am, especially by Congress standards. But in any event, <laughs> yeah, you know, in hindsight, I realized that I started having the symptoms probably about 2019. Uh, and for me, it was, it was a clenching and, and a curling of my toes, which apparently is a classic symptom of of early onset Parkinson's. So I just, you know, I ignored it. I just said it was because I walked so many miles every day here at the Capitol mm -hmm. on the punishing more marble floors, you know, how that is. But, you know, it turns out that it was not just that. It was also the fact that, you know, I had Parkinson's. And I didn't know it until, until really I didn't just get the final, the final diagnosis, the final, the final, final I guess, final, final um, ruling out everything else it could be uh, in December of last year. So it's just been a very short time. I've known for sure that that's what it is, and so I'm doing everything I can to, to get out and just be known and, and just hopefully use my platform for good. Well, that's, that's so brave and wonderful of you to do that, and I can just tell you, just within the last week or so, since uh, the Parkinson's community has learned about your diagnosis, they extend their sympathies to you. On the other hand, they're so glad there's someone in the United States Congress who understands this and who will be fighting from the inside to Absolutely. go along with all the incredible yeah. work being done on yeah, the outside. As, as, much as, as much as they sympathize, if you ain't got it, you don't get it. So that's yeah. the thing that I found. You're yeah. right. With, yeah. with, right. My, with my Parkinson's community group and everybody, I've, I've gotten so much outreach from everybody. It's been wonderful. I just love this community. I'm going to fight for you guys every single day. That's amazing to hear. We'll, we'll be in the fight with you, Congresswoman Jennifer yes, we Wexton. Will. We wish you good luck and good health. Thanks for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.